Now, some big changes are in the works to revamp Indianola High School, but what exactly that might look like it's still up in the air. Local 5's Carson J.S. Reichart breaks down what's on the table. Indianola district officials have worked on three separate proposals about the high school's future. The first would renovate the existing building. The second would put a new building in the place of the current one. And the last would put that new building in a different place entirely. They're specifically looking to increase classroom size. Currently, classes average 700 square feet, but modern standards are about 900. Officials are also hoping to add more common spaces for students to use. Superintendent Art Sadoff told me he hopes the improvements are most noticeable to students. He pulled students aside and you talk to them. You know, what do you think about the high school? You know, it's, it's getting the job done, but it's not a, not a source of pride. And uh, just like with a house, you know, over time, issues are going to continue to occur. So then, what's the price tag on these proposals? There's a pretty wide range, from $71 million for the renovation-only plan, all the way to $144 million for the new school in a new location. If you'd like more information on any of the proposals or you'd want to share your feedback on them, there's a public meeting being held at the Indianola High School Media Center at 6 p.m. tonight. In Indianola, this is Carson J.S. Reichert for Local 5 News. We are Iowa.